Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to set up two-factor authentication or 2FA on crypto.com with Google Authenticator. And by the way, Swiss Boards got a cool sign-up bonus. You can go ahead and get up to $100 in rewards. Just gotta use the link below, either in the description or in the comments. Just click on it, scan the QR code, and they'll send your reward card. Now going back, start by opening up the app. Wait for it to load, and once it loads, you can now go ahead and go to the top left, tap on the three horizontal lines, tap on it, and then in here, Scroll all the way down, and you will find settings. Okay, tap on it. Now go ahead and tap on security. Tap. Now, as you can see here, we have two-factor authentication. So what we'll do is just tap on it. Now go ahead and tap on this uh, slider or toggle. All right, toggle it on. Now enter your passcode. And once done, just wait for it. And as you can see here, it says install Google Authenticator or similar apps. Now scan this code or copy the code manually. If you have a separate phone, you can go to scan this code. If you only use a single phone, well, copy the code from here. All right. Once that's done, open up Google Authenticator, which is right here. Open it up and you'll be able to see a plus sign at the bottom right. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see it from here. Okay, because uh, I'm screen mirroring. Okay. At the bottom right, you have the uh, plus sign in here and you will have the option to uh, scan the QR code or enter a setup key. Just select enter a setup key. All right. And here it says code name. You can just go ahead and uh, enter crypto.com. All right. Now your key, tap and hold, paste, type of key, leave it to time based. All right. Add. Now it's been added. You just go back, open up crypto.com sign back in and then here proceed to verify now it says here enter your 2fa code now go ahead and open up the google authenticator once more and look for the crypto.com codes enter that one in the crypto.com app okay once done hit on continue and you're good to go all right and that is it when you go ahead and go back right here and check your two-factor authentication as you can see here, it is now enabled. Well, I hope this video helps. I'll see you in the next one.